Cersei is standing on the ramparts of King's Landing looking at Euron's Iron Fleet when Kyburn brings her the news that the wall has been breached, as the Golden Company ferry into the bay. She coolly replies, good, and goes to meet the capain of the company, Harry Strickland, who reveals that their elephants are absent due to the length of the voyage. Euron continues to press his suite of marriage, and after much persistence, Cersei allows him to follow her into her chamber. The two have sex, and despite her apparent satisfaction, Cersei calls Euron the most arrogant man she's ever met. When he claims he will make her pregnant and then leaves the room, Cersei's face becomes drawn and pensive. After Euron informs Cersei about his success in ambushing the Targaryen forces near Dragonstone, she lies to him that she is pregnant with his child. To deter Daenerys from launching an all-out attack, she allows in civilians to enter the Red Keep. During the parley before the battle, she ignores Tyrion's pleas for surrender to Daenerys and has Missande beheaded. Cersei's plan, however, backfires as Daenerys has Drogon and her army slaughters Cersei's forces and the civilians in King's Landing. Cersei spends much of the battle in numb denial as she watches the carnage unfold from the Red Keep unable to accept that all her planning and efforts were for naught and her fall is inevitable, and there is absolutely nothing she can do to change the outcome. She is initially hesitant to leave the Red Keep, but eventually gives in to Kyburn's suggestion to leave for Mega's Holdfast. Her Queensguard, however, is either crushed by debris or killed at the hands of Sandor Clegane. Gregor abandons her to fight Sandor, and Kyburn is killed by Gregor when he tries to stop him, causing her to flee alone before both the Clegane brothers fight. The wounded Jamie finally finds her in the war room and they embrace. The two flee into the cellars, hoping to flee the city on a rowboat and later sail to Pentos, but the exit has been blocked by debris. Cersei cries and begs Jamie not to leave her, pleading she does not want her and their unborn child to die. Jamie hugs her, saying nothing else matters except them. As they embrace for the final time, they are crushed by debris. Following the battle, the corpses of both Cersei and Jaime were discovered in the ruins of the Red Keep by Tyrion. She left a hated legacy, with Yara Greyjoy still seeing Daenerys as a savior who freed them from the Tyrant Queen, despite her massacre of the people in King's Landing. With Cersei dead, Tyrion is finally free from her threats and persecutions. Also, the deaths of the members of House Tyrell, Kevin and Lancel Lannister, Eddard Stark and Robert Baratheon are finally avenged. In the end, Cersei Lannister was wrong about Tyrion being the one who would destroy House Lannister. It was her own selfishness, jealousy, megalomania and stupidity that caused the destruction of her house and her own death.